Hi, I'm Cece, and Christmas time is quickly approaching. Uh, it's already arrived here in Stockholm, got some snow and baubles and Christmas stuff all around, and uh, it is almost Christmas in real life as well. Uh, when I say almost, it means it's in two days. I uh, I've, I wanted to do a Christmas episode, and, I, and I've been putting it off until literally the last minute. Uh, I'm going out tomorrow for Christmas Eve, so basically I have half a day to make an episode. So, let's quickly get into it. Uh, it's I've not been completely inactive on the server for the past couple months, but a new Pokemon game came out, so that has really put a... It's really slowed us down here. Uh, but I have been doing a bit of work on the rail system, and I've actually made a full loop for at least one portion of the, the train map. So... I want to set up a station so I can actually start utilizing the the loop. And I've got a bit of a plan going on over here. So I've got the, the ticket area that I showed in the last episode. And then I've got, got some area planned for where all the cart loading will go. So I need to actually come up with a design for the station, which I have not done yet. I've only just said, oh, I want to build a station. Let's get going with it. And I've not put any thought into how I'm going to do it. So I think what I'm going to start with is I'm going to get all the redstone stuff in and then we can go from there. So over back here, behind the tickets, we have this little loading system. What will happen is once you throw your tickets into the system, it will go into this hopper, which will then get read by this comparator, which will then send out a uh, minecart chest, which will be in here, which will take all the tickets. And then once that chest is filled up it will get sent off uh, which is the easy bit so next I need to design the bit over here oh god I'm lagging right now the bit which uh, you will actually uh, get into your minecarts so the first slot here is where the ticket minecart will go so that one's already sorted then I need to have a few extra ones here for the player to set up in so I'm gonna quickly uh, Fill this with gravel, just because it needs to be gravel. God, I'm really lagging right now. It's not the time game. Ow. Uh. <laughs> oh, there, wait, 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 wait. Okay. There we go, gravel. So, the way I want to do it is I want to have powered rail... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Powered rails every other gravel. So I need to power them, and the rest of it will just be gravel. Oops, I got my torch there. And then I want to have... This, I think. Yes, and then I want to have up here... If I quickly do this, you'll see that they sort of uh, go up like that. And if I break that and then replace the stone, you'll just have a powered rail going up to nowhere, which I can then place a minecart on. And it'll work. So just need to do that for all of them. Okay, good stuff. Next, I need to actually put the redstone in behind that will power the system. So what I want to do is I want to have some stone buttons. Let's get... All will be fine. So one, two, three, four. And then on the other side, I want to quickly go round. So back here is where the ticket minecart goes. I need to clear out the stone. I really should have done this yesterday, but oh well. Okay, so the button should be on... Let's see if I can get my camera through there. Yeah, the button's on that block. So I need to have redstone running along the back. Here. So all this redstone is going to do is just power all the rails so the minecart runs off. But I need to make sure they're powered in the correct order, otherwise they'll get knocked against each other. So the way I'm going to do that is have redstone running along here. So no matter which button is pressed, all of them will activate. And then head down here, dig out another area. And down here, I want to have repeaters going along each of the 
it's, it's that block. Okay, good. So, yeah, the Peter's going across all of these. Oh, running out of them. One, two, three, four. Put them all on maximum ticks. So, now it should be okay. So, now when I press any of these buttons, it should activate them one by one. Why didn't it activate that one? Try that again. So if I press uh, this middle one, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Fantastic. So if there was minecarts on there, they would go out in sequence. Uh, next, I need to just do this. This bit of uh, rail here is purely for aesthetics. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually matter at all. It's the only bits that matter are these bits here. So if I just do that, it should be fine. So over here, this bit over here is where the minecarts will get deposited when you enter the station. And uh, I have a design on my test world. The issue is that it's directional. And I don't know if I've built it in the right direction. Uh, if I haven't, I'm going to have to redesign it. If I have, well, lucky me. So, before I do that though, I need to get some more repeaters, because I am out and I'm pretty sure I need repeaters. Never seen that before. Pelladurade has spawned inside of the wall. Unfortunately, the one that I would want to spawn in the wall hasn't, but that's fine. We'll just leave them. Pretend they don't exist. I just had a quick look at my test world, and it seems like I didn't actually need to make any repeaters, so that's good. I just need torches. Oh, they're approaching. Hello. The way I want to have this is so it will take you up onto a raised area, and I've built it wrong as per usual. So I need to have a uh, detector rail. Nope, wrong way around. Regular rail, detector rail, 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 regular rail, detector rail. Regular rail, detector rail. Okay. And then I'm just going to have the same, uh, no, I'll do the powered world after because I now need to go underneath, I should not have used gravel for this, I'll use, switch it out for andesite for now and then I'll use, I'll put it in gravel once I've done the redstone. Okay, so back here, what I'm going to need to do is have, so this, this block here, Sorry, this block here has the detector rail on it. So I want to have a redstone dust that goes there with a redstone torch. And I didn't go down deep enough. Great, one second. <laughs> I then want to have redstone dust beneath them, which then goes into a block, which will then have redstone dust here, which will then have the gravel above. And then on the top, it will have rails, and then the rails will be uh, have their direction changed once the minecart is on here. So I can do that for all of them, and then see if it works in this specific rotation. And I get the feeling it won't, because it never works the first time, does it? Hey, theoretically, this should be functional now. I just need to grab a minecart wherever I have a minecart. There's one here, one here. Okay, good. Uh, and then I just need to see if it actually does what I think it does. So the first... There we go. Okay, uh, so the first minecart will go in. And that should go straight forward. Yep. And then the next minecart should go in. And that didn't do... Oh, it ran... I think it ran out of speed. So I need to change all of these to be... Let's give that another go. So, first minecart in. And then if I get in the second minecart. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? That didn't work because I missed out a redstone dust. So, let's try that again. So, first one in. Straight there. Good. Where's that other mine? Oh, it's there. Okay, next one. 
Then I should go into this one. And I went to there. Why did I go to there? Oh. Why is that face in that direction? Ah, yes. Uh, here's the directional issue. So on my test world, I have this built facing uh, east and west like this. So if you were entering in, it would be going east and then west. But in this world, I have it the other way where it's going south, north. And because rails are stupid, that means that they don't work. So what I need to do is I need to change these to be inverted. And how do I do that without messing everything up? If I do this into... No, that's not going to work. Oh, I don't think I need to do it for this one. I think this one's actually fine, so I'm just going to do this. There we go. So, minecart go in. Yep. And then minecart go in. Good stuff. Okay. So, aside from the first one, because of, again, rail shenanigans, they all need to be changed. Right now, the system is set that the signal inverts, uninverts, and then goes back to being inverted again, which is probably not the most efficient way of doing this. But if it works, I am not going to complain. So, I'm going to do some stress testing with this just to make sure that it is fully functional. And we'll... If it does... If it does keep working, then fantastic. If it doesn't, we'll back to the drawing board. I'm going to need some more minecarts, though, because I have only got two on me. And also, my inventory is a mess again. Because I have just been rushing around and not paying attention to what shulker boxes I'm using. And I'm mining and building at the same time, which is a cardinal sin of Minecraft. So uh, I'm going to quickly head over to Fennec to pick up some more minecarts because I am completely out of iron in this area. So this is now fully functional. Uh, if I stand here and just keep pushing minecarts in one after the other, they should just all go into position. Like so. Perfect. And then if you want to leave, you just break the minecarts and put them over there. It's kind of a manual system right now, just because, well, I don't think I'll be using it super often, so I don't really need it to be... Oh, okay. It's better to say that I, I want to kind of update the design as I go. For now, it's just going to be functional. And then as I run into problems I don't like, I will start to modify the system here and there. But it is now fully functional. So, all I need to do now is build the actual building. Oh, also place in some water, because I forgot to do that. There. And. There. Okay. So, time for the aesthetics. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to have just a symmetrical building with a clock tower, which will be blocked by this building. I might put a clock tower over here later. I want to have a clock just because trains usually have clocks. Or train stations usually have clocks on them. But I'm thinking of having two entrances. So sort of like... Uh, something like this. Like one would be the entrance, one would be the exit sort of thing. And then have it sort of be somewhat symmetrical. We will see. Uh, for now, it's going to put in the shape, see how big of an area it was going to take up, and then we can go from there. I've built plenty of Stockholm buildings in the past, so I don't think this one will be too different. Uh, it has been a while since I've actually built one, though, so we'll see. <laughs>
We've got a little clock tower, which is a bit ugly right now, but that's fine. I'll sort of pick it up over time. And the actual shape was a bit weird to get a hand on, but what I went with instead, or went was, eh, went, my voice. What I went with in the end was sort of almost like a church, like it's got a main tower and then these two side bits, which connects onto my, uh, my landscaping shop or landscaping building. And then, like, the sides of the building sort of go into the sides of these, uh, roofs. It's, it's a bit strange, but I quite like it. Oh, 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 oh. And the way you get in is you enter through here, like there, or you enter in from this side, like so. Uh, up there, um, I don't know if I'll have any rooms up there. So now I need to do the interior, because it's, right now it's just all, uh, deep slate brick, which is... Not particularly pretty, but I don't really know what I want to do instead. Because I want to have sort of a curved roof. And I'm just going to block off all this and just pretend like it doesn't exist. I'll make a little facade behind the window once I get one in. And just pretend there's, like, there's actually rooms up there, but I don't think I'll actually have anything available. So I kind of want to keep the walls as being... Um, Keep the walls as deep slate for now. Uh, I don't know what I want the roof and the floor to be. I think the floor will be made out of like polished blackstone or something. Just something more tiley to make it a bit more distinct. And then have the ceiling maybe be a bit lighter. Not sure. Train stations tend to have really high ceilings that are like curved with like glass and stuff, but since this is already an interior, can't really do that. So I think for for now I'll do for now is I'm gonna just use deep slate again just to get the shape in. Grab some stairs and slabs and then just jump up. I have lined these pillars up correctly, right? Yes I have. Good. Good good. So what I'm thinking is maybe going up a block and then doing this sort of shape. Does that fit under this bit of roof? So that, then it'd be, oh, no. I wish I could make it slightly taller, but that is the limit of uh, how big the roof can be. I guess I could expand this side of the ceiling a little bit, but I'd like to keep it as symmetrical as possible on the outside. So... Okay, this is actually looking pretty decent so far. Uh, I quite like this sort of... Like... God, my brain today. Tonight, actually, it's past midnight. Shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, I... Now I need to figure out a block to go in between them. And I feel like a white might be too much. So I'm going to experiment with some stone. I don't hate it. I like the shape, so that's at least good. But I think stone isn't the way to go. Okay, I quite like the cyan. quite like the deep tight cobble. But this has given me a new idea. Okay, hear me out. Fried ceiling. Just get all the colour of the terracotta and just kind of like gradient them over like a rainbow. And just make a really colourful ceiling. Uh, I need some... <laughs> yeah, I quite like that actually. Uh, I left out the two at the end just because of a weird bit here. Yeah, so I left the two on the ends open and also the one at the far end open just because I want to have uh, the wall sort of come out a little bit. <laughs> come out. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. I kind of want to add one more colour to this gradient just so it's there to there. But then it would be poking out here a little bit. But I guess I could just do that. Um, thing is I've run out of terracotta. Like, plain terracotta, that to die. So, if I was going to do another colour in the gradient, it would have to be... 
idea. I don't actually have enough of any of the colours to do another one. I'll leave it for now. And if it keeps bugging me, I'll come back later once I've gone to mine some terracotta. <laughs> I like that a lot. So now I need to do the floor. And uh, how much space is there? One, two... Oh, it's two and a half. That's a shame. I was going to put a clock there, but I guess I could put an item frame with a clock in it. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just going to be up to detailing now. Do some of the floor, some of the walls, but this is all functional now. So what I want to do is I want to do a quick test run of the system, and this test run should uh, should be in the keyword test everything at once. God, my this place is already a mess. Let's do the faux power and add another chest to the monster. If I wasn't rushing so much, I'd be taking more care in how I'm sorting things, but for now... Oh, maybe, why are we having so many shovels and stuff? Put them there, and Sean can go there too. So, let's quickly grab some mine carts. Uh, I've done a quick little test of this before, but what, it do what these free tickets here do is they will take me in a perfect loop around the current minecart track we've built. And I want to quickly sleep before I do it. So I can give you a quick demonstration of how this system works. So, for now, the, there will be tickets in each of these barrels that will go to a different stations. I'll name the barrels and such once I actually have the stations ready. Uh, and what you'll do is just press Q on each of the tickets you want which will be all the ones in this, the barrel. And then it should go into a minecart down below and then drop here. Ah, uh, I didn't power this rail. Whoops. Uh, and then you will place in whatever minecarts you want to use from this chest. So say you wanted to transport some personal items around, put them there, and then you have your minecart at the end or wherever you want them. But since it's just going to be me and the minecart chest, uh, I'm just going to put me in, press this button, and then we should both head off. I should put some powered rails there to make it go a bit faster out the exit. And then now we'll go right using the first ticket. I'm just out of reach, I can't reach the, the air chest, but in there should be the Stockholm and the CW ticket, because the right ticket was taken out at the junction to tell us which way to leave the station. So now we just go on a nice little trip around the server. towards Fennec, where Kieran's there we go, shulker boxes are suddenly popping. Uh, you can see like hints of it through the trees and I absolutely love it. Just that aqueduct is great sort of just it's splitting up the environment a bit which I think works perfectly well. And now we'll be heading to the south which will take us towards spawn. <laughs> on the bridge which heads towards spawn. This is one I built and the one over there is one Kieran built to head to the southern part of the server which is really cool. I've not seen his progress on that in a while. But over here we have my bridge which I'm pretty happy with. There's no need to actually detail it, it's just kind of rough and ready right now. And then we'll be heading up onto this sort of, I don't know what you call this, it's like a retaining wall mixed with like a, I don't know what it is but it's a big wall that lines the outside of the central meadow, and I think it's pretty damn cool. Once again, more work needs to be done, but that'll be a future me problem. Okay, now, right when we get up to the top of this hill, we should be crossing over the central roundabout. This is the most central we can get, and it should send us straight forward. Fantastic. And we will now head through the hill down towards Stockholm again.
So this central, this little spiral here, uh, completely coincidental that it perfectly measured towards where I wanted the roundabout. And on the left here we'll have a junction that heads down to the lower spawn station once we have that built too. Now we'll go onto this little rickety area off the side and this is into the Stockholm and Ferrumstead direction. This area is going to be more uh, rural or less less refined so we're using more basic bridges and such. And here we are approaching Stockholm, or at least the old Stockholm station that is now going to be abandoned because the railway project has seriously expanded since my initial plans. But now we get to head across this bridge and just see Stockholm start to appear. It's such a such a pretty view, especially in F5 mode. Just look at that. All these bright orange buildings. Oh, I love it. Not normally snowy, but that's just uh, for the Christmas season. God, Stockholm is expanding. It's been a while since I've actually been over here. Like I've been spending so much time over at Fennec that it's just nice to be back in my home base. And then once we get to this junction just ahead of us, uh, the final ticket should be used, which is the Stockholm Station ticket. And there we go. So now we'll need to test if the uh, the entrance works. So first minecart should go there, and then we should go here. Fantastic. That is amazing. I just did a full loop of the server. That was really cool. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't normally be that long of a trip. That is just because for testing purposes. Uh, if you wanted to go to a specific station, you'd have to take a much more direct route. But I am very, very happy with that. So one thing I would like to do is that down here, is eventually going to run out of minecart chests, and I don't have to keep manually collecting them. So what I thought of maybe doing is, upon the approach here, we would have it so the first minecart gets sent to the left into like the wall, and gets to, uh, sent down into the dropper or the dispenser that re restocks the minecarts, while you will just carry on going forward. And I think it should be pretty simple to do that. So, what I'm thinking is we would have a detector rail here and then a turn off rail like here that's not a detector rail that's a detector rail no detector rail will be here yes all i would need to do is this there we go so if i quickly grab some minecarts there we go. It should now be that when a minecart goes ahead, it will turn left automatically, activate this detector rail, which will then activate this uh, pulse extender, which goes into a target block, which will then invert the rail to the other direction. So if a there was a, a train of carts, it would do that, and then that. That's not going to be long enough, though. I'm going to have to make it so... Because normally with these, this uh, pulse extender would be resetting constantly because there'd be always minecarts going over the top of it. And even no matter how long the train would be, it would always reset the pulse extender back to the maximum uh, strength. And yeah, so this one I'm going to have to make it so... There's going to be two detector rails. One here and one there. This one will tell the minecart which way, to tell the track which way to be. And then this one will keep resetting the pulse extender. So I think the way I can do that is get a piston. Oop, no, this, this works in my brain. I don't know if it'll work in practice. So the idea is that this pulse extender won't do anything until this one has activated once and then it will lift up the piston which will then complete the circuit for both of these and let it be a real long 
extension, but I'm just hoping it doesn't cause an infinite redstone loop. We'll we'll find out if that is the case or not. That's wrong. Uh, I'm going to grab some more minecarts just to make it so there's a bit more... Uh, yeah, longer caravan. Okay, so one. Great. Two. Three. Four. Five. So, does this turn off? Oh, would you look at that. Now that is some redstone for you. And then these have all gone into the right places. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So now all I need to do is just make it so uh, these minecart, that, that minecart there, heads down to the dispenser down here. And that should also be very easy. Oops, not if I fall into the hole. So, I'll be right back once I've done that. Uh, well, I accidentally uh, clicked pause record without realising, and I lost about an hour of footage. Yay! But um, I've pretty much done everything now. I've extended the rainbow, so now it's got an extra bit of pink on the end. Uh, I've given it a stone floor, which I think looks quite good. Uh, I've also got a bulletin board here with uh, some important notes to be said and then also filled in some of the barrels that is not the barrel to be filled uh and yeah i also did the 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 minecart system down below so it is now set up that a cactus destroys it and puts it into a hopper and then goes into the system so i think that is everything uh, yeah, I think this project's done, uh, at least for now. And I'm probably going to come back here with some update designs as we figure them out, because Kieran's already working on a new uh, ticket machine, which uses the brand new Chisel bookshelf, which will be quite cool. Uh, but I'll leave that to Kieran to come up with, and I can always just change the design here. I think it's going to be smaller, like thinner, so I could have a few more extra uh, carts here. So, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Bye!